Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a 360 degree rotation of a coin in After Effects without using any plugin. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. And I am also going to share the illustration file of this tutorial in the link in the description. You can collect it from there and do try this whole lesson on your own. So ok, so let's jump into Adobe After Effects and proceed with our animation. Ok, so here our first job is to select this coin edge and convert it into a shape layer. Let's delete this illustration layer and Let's rename this layer. Now, this layer is basically a dark contrast layer of this coin, which we are going to use for adding dimension to the coin. Now, after that, we are going to select the center layer, this proud animator logo shadow layer. So, here is another layer below it. So, we are going to use that layer for adding dimension as well. So, we are going to select this one, this one and this edge lines, this lines. And we are going to apply set matte effect over here in under effects and presets panel. Let's double click on it to apply it. And when you are applying set matte in an illustrator layer, remember to turn on this continuous rasterize. Now, after that, we are going to select the center and change this one to center dark. So this is basically a dark shaded portion of the center which again we are going to use to add dimensions. Now we are going to do the same for this one and this one. For the edges, we are going to select the coin edge Okay, now we are going to select all these layers and turn on the rasterize. After that, we are going to select all these layers and just leave this coin edge and these edge lines and turn these layers into 3D layers. After that, we are going to select these layers and parent it with coin. So when we rotate this layer, everything is rotating together. Alright, now after that, we are going to add the rotation keyframes, so open the rotation property, put keyframes on Y axis. After that, we are going to jump on to next 10 frames and put a keyframe over here. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. After that, we are going to jump on to next 10 frames. Let's add another 90 degree. After that, we're going to again jump on to next 10 frames and add another 90 degrees. After that, again, jump on to next 10 frames and add 90 degrees to it, which completes the whole 360 degree. Let's bring the work area end over here. And let's check it. All right. Now we are going to open the position property and put a keyframe over here. Now this is the exact center of the coin. Now we are going to bring in the rulers in After Effects. So for that, the shortcut key is Control plus R. We are going to put one over here, one over here and one over here. So as it is in 90 degrees, we are going to shift it this side. Well, we can move the ruler a bit over here and here. So we are going to align it with this ruler. And as it's completely flat, we are going to copy and paste this initial keyframes, not the rotation, just the position. After that, we are going to shift this layer this side. Now after that, we are going to again 
copy and paste the initial position keyframe. So let's check it. Now we are going to animate the edges and add dimension to this coin. Right now it's completely flat. So we are going to use this layer now. So open the path property and put a keyframe over here. And again, jump on to the next one and put a keyframe over here. Now we're going to jump where somewhere in between. Let's jump on to five frames, next five frames. And we're going to just adjust the path a bit. And also I'm going to add a vertex over here. So select the path and add a vertex over here. So for adding a vertex, you have to use this tool. So under pin tool, if you click and hold a panel like this will pop up and this is for adding vertex in your path in the shape layer. So we're going to add another vertex over here as well. Now after that, we're going to move this vertex slightly at this point and this one at this point and we're going to try it to match with this curvature now after that at this point it is completely in the side view let's copy and paste this path property now after that we're going to move this particular vertex and put it over here this one over here and make it somewhat a rectangle a complete rectangle Okay, now let's check it. So we can add more in between in this. So let's check it now. All right, now we're going to just do the same in the reverse order this side. So at this point, we are going to copy and paste this path. Let's jump somewhere in between. And we're going to do the exact opposite. We are going to simply move it this side now. And we can also add more in between over here. Let's adjust the point over here as well. So if this thing happens, you can always add more in between keyframes. You just simply have to adjust the path a bit. Okay, add more in between over here as well. All 
All right. Okay, now after this point onwards, this whole action is repeating once again. But we have done one mistake previously, which is we have shifted the face of the coin this side, but it is not going to happen like that because this face is again going to shift this side. So we can simply copy and paste the position keyframe over here. And after that, we're going to simply copy and paste this path keyframes over here as well. And let's check our animation. And it is going to be a 360 degree rotation of coin. So after that, we're going to add more dimension to this animation. So let's turn on this proud animator logo. Open the position. Let's split the dimensions and we are only going to work with the x-axis. So we are going to put a keyframe over here. At this point put a keyframe over here as well. Let's jump on to somewhere around here and we are going to move it this side. But when you are going to move it you will notice that you are not seeing this uh, the actual shadow because it has also shifted in the z-axis as well. So remember to change this to zero pixels. Right now it's visible. We can shift it even more, but we can see it's now disappeared because it has moved back in the z-axis. So we have to change it back to zero. Now, after that, at this point, let's add more dimension to this. All right, now, so we're going to do the same for this center layer as well. Open the position, split the dimension, only work with the X axis. And at this point, again, put a keyframe. And at this point, we're going to shift it the side. Now, again, change this back to zero. And here you can see pretty nice looking dimension of the coin. Now we can do this over here as well. Let's change it back to zero. All right, so after that, at this point, we can simply copy and paste this keyframes over here. And we're going to do the same thing over here in this part of the rotation as well. Let's copy and paste the initial keyframes. Let's jump somewhere in between and add more dimensions. All right, let's add some dimension, even more thickness over here as well. All right, so over here, this part of the rotation is also done. So after this point, the whole action is going to repeat itself. So we are simply going to copy and paste this keyframes over here. Now let's check out. So for the proud and metal logo dimension, it is going in the opposite direction. So we have to fix it. So simply move it in the x-axis like this way. And after that again, move it in this side. Okay, now let's check out our animation. All right, so like this, you can animate a full 360 degree rotation of a coin in After Effects without using any plugin. 
So do try it on your own. I have also shared the illustration file in the description. You can collect it from there. So go check it out and try it on your own. And that is it for this lesson. So if you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.